Okay, hi everyone and welcome to this sort of like natural everyday makeup look that I've been doing over the last few weeks that I've actually really enjoyed doing. To me this probably takes me every day about 15 to 20 minutes to do just because I'm not really being distracted or anything like that but today hopefully that will be a little bit quicker for you guys watching because obviously I'll edit it because I'm really trying to put my heart and soul into everything at the moment. So I do look like shit because it is so hot in the UK at the moment. We're in the middle of our like fourth or fifth heat wave. Um, I will be looking to the side because that's where my mirror is. My mirror is um, lighted as you can see. Um, so I do want to see actually what it will look like whereas if I uh, have it lit up and I'm like this all you're seeing is this really really bright mirror. So, not going to do that today. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is show you everything that I use, including my eyeshadow palette, fits in this bag, which is quite big, but um, it does fold over. So, the first thing that I use is a primer, and the primer that I'm testing out at the moment, I'm not really that in love with it, is the Professional Primer by Benefit. I'm just using a mini at the moment because I didn't want to invest in a full one if I didn't like it. So I use the tip of my beauty blender to apply this under on my cheeks and under my eyes. On both sides. And then I do my forehead and my nose, which I'll just quickly do. So I do that, I do add a little bit onto my chin as well, but that's mainly just because I have quite a few acne scars down there. So the next thing that I do is foundation and the foundation that I use is the number 7 Beautifully Matte Foundation from All Day Velvet Matte Perfection. It's oil free and it's SPF 15 which has been quite nice in the weather at the moment. Um, it's a 30ml bottle, it's in a pump like bottle. Um, so it's quite a lot, I think it costs about 14 50 So for a drugstore foundation that is a bit higher end so you probably can't see but because it is quite a good match I put it um, in like a three motion down my face in the bottle of my forehead and on my chin and I will quickly blend that out with the beauty blender I'm gonna move you in a little bit closer so you can see how I do that and for the rest of the video oh my God. I might leave that in the video. I've literally just got bitten by an earwig. Anyway, so this is me a bit closer up, so I'm just gonna blend in my foundation. Okay, so I'm back and this is just about blended in. So the next thing that I use is the Instant Radiance Concealer by number seven. Um, this was 10 pounds, I think it could have been more. And uh, I just do that in a triangular-ish shape. So basically the reason why I've started using this concealer is it's less of a brightening concealer really than the uh, Makeup Revolution one that I used to go on about on my old channel whereas this one it's a lot more of a natural um, one it's got more yellowy tones in it and it just doesn't make me look literally as bright white as I used to because part of me has started to realise that I'm not actually a ghost um, and that a lot of my old videos show me literally trying to look like Jeffree Star like white ass foundations aren't the best thing to use so I don't know if anyone uses different beauty blenders between concealer and foundation but I literally just go in and blend um, a trick that I learnt is I always used to shut my eyes when um, I mean this is probably a well known thing and probably no one else does it but I used to shut my eyes when blending out my concealer so I always used to get like eyelash marks um, in my concealer because I do pile a lot of it on let's be honest and um, I never thought about really doing it with your eyes open so I thought oh it'll just go in your eyes but no it doesn't so the one thing that I'm literally showing you this because this is the big thing to me about this concealer the one thing that it doesn't is like I have really deep wrinkles under my eyes because I don't sleep very well and um, this just doesn't fill those in or anything like you can see them. 
So the one thing, like, you could call me an idiot for this again, is when all these beauty gurus are like, um, baking and shit like that, I didn't realise they used a wet beauty blender to do it until watching a video today. So, normally, because I have two of these and normally I use the dry one to uh, do powder, but today we're going to uh, try something different. So, I've just tapped some into the lid. This is a... Uh, Translucent Perfect Lighting Loose Powder by number 7. It's not translucent, it's very clearly for white people. Um, that's what mugs me off about these translucent powders, is they're not translucent, they do put colour in. And um, like if a person with really like deep dark skin tried to use this, it wouldn't be translucent. Like uh, I see it looking in the mirror. I do see the difference. Okay, and I'm just going to tap more powder out. And for the rest, I'm going to use the puff that came with it and just smooth it over my skin. To me, I'm 10 minutes into this tutorial now, personally for myself. That did include the intro and me getting bitten by an earwig and moving the camera around and stuff like that. But to be honest, I don't know what time it'll be for you right now watching this video, but this is probably, I'm about, I want to say like a third and a half done with my makeup like I'm not quite halfway but I'm really getting there of being done okay so now that I'm powdered I'm gonna go on to contour and highlighting so um, if anyone watched me on my old channel you may have seen me talk about this product before it's the uh, Acti Labs contour palette I don't even know if they still make it anymore so it's got um, a setting brightening powder a highlighter a contour and a blush I literally only use the contour and the blush um, the highlighter is pathetically bad um, it looks alright there but then when you literally you have to uh, be like driving it in there to get any pigment out of it and the only reason why I still use it is because I paid money for it and I want to get the most out of it okay so after contouring I get the golden lights highlighter by makeup revolution because my, all my other like blinding highlights are quite purpley and pink tones so they don't look that natural whereas this one looks really natural and is really blinding which is lovely and I do blend out the edges to be honest just there's that much product on the brush because I use it like every day for like loads and loads of highlight that I don't like blending it out because it just gets the same amount everywhere so I just go over it with my finger to blend it out so the next thing I move on to is eyes so this is a palette that I've been on for the last week I've used this every single day for the last week and I've only used one brush which is not very hygienic at all um, and it's the Morphe Fluffy Brush. Um, this was from a set, so it doesn't have a number on it. You probably know which one it is if you like Morphe brushes. And um, I've been using, for a really natural look, the colour Salem from the Wizardry and Witchcraft palette, which is this one, which is actually a purple in my crease. But I've been using these sorts of shades to give myself a base and this is just a pop. So quickly, I'm just going to do that if the mirror will stand up and I'll fast forward you through one eye then I'll do the other and I'll be back Okay, so that's my naturally-ish light look. I'm gonna turn that lamp off there. So that's my natural eye look. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do my eyebrows, then I'm gonna add mascara. I haven't been doing eyeliner recently at all because I've been finding that I really like these eyeshadow looks when I can see them because I have quite hooded eyelids as you can see. Um, so that's like, 
it takes away everything that's on the lid for me really so the mascara that I've been using I really love and that is the bad gal bang um, mascara by benefit and um, this is in the mini the minis at £10.50 from boots in the UK if you want to get them but I brow stuff I've been using the um, Axi Labs brow pomade brow wax thing I use the darkest color because I dye my hair black it isn't at the moment but I will be soon and that's it in Wenge I spray it with setting spray after it's very clear after every use to keep it moist rather than a hard wax I don't spray it beforehand because it's then too watery so I'm just going to turn to the side to do my eyebrows where I have a really close-up mirror So the one thing that I always have to remember is that they're sisters, not twins, because I get so frustrated sometimes with my eyebrows. I do prefer quite a natural shape, so I don't elongate anything, I just fill in and I trace over my natural shaped brows. So I'll do my mascara. So there we go, I think that's really nice, really subtle, I'm literally covered in makeup, it's all over me. So to me, the last thing that I do is lipstick and... The lipstick that I have been using at the moment is in the shade Lusty Rose and it's by Benefit. It's the lip liner and lipstick in one duo. So the lip liner is at the top and the lipstick at the bottom. I did a review on these last year. I haven't repurchased them. I just, anyone that knows me knows that I literally love liquid lipsticks that dry matte and don't budge, but I hate cream lipsticks. So even though I have opened them all that lot and I should have really thrown them away by now. Actually, should I? Let's have a look. When's the expiry date? Let's peel the little sticker off at the bottom. Oh, it doesn't actually say. But anyway, you probably should have thrown it away by now, but I do actually not use them, and I'd open them just to swatch them out and try them, really, and it still looks alright, so I started using it for more of a natural look, because I was being around kids, and I didn't want a, um, for my work experience week, and I didn't want a really, like, in-your-face look. So, obviously, this isn't a natural look, because I've got eye to the one and all this stuff, I've got bold-ass brows, but to me, this is, like, a really low-key look, so... Basically, to me, this video is taking about 23 minutes now, but obviously when I do this, I'm not talking, I'm just doing it and then getting out of the house. So this is what my overall look is with a bit of lipstick. So this is what the lipstick looks on top of foundation. I've got into the habit of not wiping my foundation off before I put it on because I think it's actually a good layer. I got into the habit with this using liquid lipsticks, sorry, moving that. Um, because I feel like it's actually a good layer to have in between the liquid lipsticks and um, your mouth because it makes the colours more vibrant but it also gives a little bit of protection from your lips really being dried out. So it's a really nice dusty rose colour and I really think that it just adds to the look so I'd have a bit more hair out if I was going to wear my hair rough just to frame my face a little bit more but yeah this is my naturally ish looking makeup tutorial I know I've been posting quite long videos well a half an hour mukbang this is like my next video after that so it's not really that long but this is my glam and I really hope you like it because I've enjoyed doing it I find it really easy quick simple um, I've been using the makeup revolution setting spray at the moment which is what I just put on last to seal everything in I hope you like my videos I hope you're liking my new sort of vibe with my channel please subscribe leave a comment um, anything like that, anything that you want to see because I do want this channel to be based on having more um, follower interaction and stuff like that. I got some really nice feedback from my first video that I posted on the channel and I just hope that we can continue this relationship of a nice community vibes, that sort of thing. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you all soon.